Hello Libra, this is Amber with Vibes and Sync Tarot. This will be a reading for March 1st through 15th, 2017. Thank you so much for coming back. I hope all is well with you. Even with all these eclipses and I sigh because we're going into um, Venus retrograde. So all those people start coming back. <laughs> but we'll get started on your reading. This month I'm doing it a little different, as I always do. <laughs> so this will be your surrender card. Things that the universe or divine energy would like you to surrender for this time. This card will be your higher self speaking to you for things that they that your higher self would like you to know during this time as well. These are two intuitive cards. This is for your path and this is for your relationships. Maybe love, maybe just your relationships with others, friends, family, so on and so forth. OK. So your surrender card is surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Okay. Look at that. The magic of who you are. And this is your higher self, self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I'm really getting a feeling already that this is about you showing someone something, expressing yourself to others. So it's a gentle reminder of who you are so you can walk into something. <laughs> Authority, okay? And this is all about you Having authority, making the rules, creating structure. <laughs> Teach. Yeah, you're definitely showing someone something or showing something to the world or expressing your gifts. You're definitely expressing your gifts. We're going to jump into your reading. And Libra, I already knew your reading was going to be a little more complicated because you know how you all like to think. So it's not going to be simple and easy. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Five of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Swords. The tower. I just got a message that you have something to share, like a testimony. You will have something to share. Okay, but anyhow. The six of pentacles in reverse. The nine of cups in reverse. Or I'm sorry, an upright. Lord Jesus. <laughs> the fool. The hermit in reverse. Overall energy is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords comes up because you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something. You're creating some sort of blockage in yourself that needs to be released. It's like old ideas. But I'm getting more like it's you're holding yourself. You're holding yourself in. I mean, like your true potential, not like who you portray yourself out to the world. Yeah. Put in that time and energy to move forward towards your future. Okay. So in the past, you have the five of sword, the five of wands, meaning that there was some sort of conflict that you came out of. OK, and there there's that is a challenge for you to remember where you don't want to be. 
it's a challenge for you also to get out of this to get out of this eight of swords Because you definitely have a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity being handed to you and you don't want to squander it, Libra. Okay? You don't want to... I'm just hearing squander. I don't want to say mess it up. Just squander it by... By holding on to old thoughts or old way of doing things, you're going to have to open yourself up. Okay, you're going to have to open yourself up. I hear I'm feeling like you're going to have to network. You're going to have to get out there. You're going to have to open up your horizons. Okay. Um, because it's about public recognition and that's what your conflict is. So your conflict is not expressing yourself to others, to getting yourself out there, to networking, something of that nature. You're not, you're not stepping yourself out to the world and you have an opportunity here. Don't, don't step away from that. Okay. You're definitely being called to make a change here. So in your near future, you have the nine of wands and that nine of wands is. You need to stand strong and move forward because I feel like it's hard. It's not what you want to do. Maybe there's time constraints, but you need to move forward. Okay, be determined. You need to be determined and remember how this makes you happy and why you want to move forward because it's going to be hard work, especially with that eight of pentacles coming up. It's not going to be easy, but you're working towards a goal. So that's positive. Okay. And your hopes are the five of swords. I, I, I'm getting this feeling like you just want things to work out. Like you just want it to work out. Um, it's like wanting the conflict to resolve itself without you having to get involved. If that makes any sense. Your strength is the tower card, which is great. That means something is coming to shake this old self up. Something is happening to shake you up because you're not working to your full potential. Okay. Um, so something is coming to shake you up to get you to work harder. Not that you're not working, but it's like working harder, working smarter, working towards a goal. Okay. It's causing you to think it's causing, it's ruffling you up. That's what it is. It's ruffling you up so you can move forward. Your fear is that there will be an injustice. Okay, but as long as you live with integrity and honesty and do what you're supposed to do, karma will play its role. Your fear is in balance. That you won't receive what's due to you, that you'll be in debt. That you've mismanaged this situation. This doesn't feel like a relationship, by the way, just to throw that out there. Um, this feels like something else. It doesn't feel like love. Okay. And your weakness is the Ten of Cups.
Your weakness is feeling complacent. Waiting. Not releasing these old thoughts to create balance within within your practical security. Okay. That's going to leave you feeling abandoned. Lonely, separated, in debt. And need environment you have the fool meaning there is some sort of risk you need to take and it feels as though you're going to need faith to do it something spontaneous and it feels like there's a lot of options and you're trying to figure out which one. But the page of cups comes up, meaning that there's going to be some sort of synchronicity and you'll have different options to choose. A messenger, maybe the beginning of something new. And and there will be abundance. So you will get through whatever this is. And the Page of Cups is a water sign. It could be. Um, that is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It's like you're unclear on a decision and then someone comes in. It's like you're you need to step out on faith or take a risk of some sort. It's like once you balance yourself, something's going to come in. Why did I hear investment? Once you balance yourself, you need to make some sort of investment in yourself. Thank you, spirit. Some sort of routine, some sort of plan moving forward. Okay. Your outcome is the hermit in reverse. The hermit in reverse is all about isolation and withdrawal. It's like you put a wall up after this. It's like you put a wall up so you can, because you realize that this made you not in harmony with yourself and you're doing a sort of reality check. Okay. And you're going to spend some time with yourself 
but that's okay but just remember that you need to get out there you need to network there's something you need to do with other people okay so you can find that balance and that contemplation but remember not to be complacent that's the problem here there's some sort of complacency okay wow this was intense there's a lot of stuff going on libra so i'm going to pull an overall oracle card for you that fell right out truth be told so let's see what that says Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, subjective, according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer. This is not a time for debate about which one is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender is to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied in an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to experience the prosperous life you desire? If you want to be an artist, do you make your art a priority? If you want to be a healer, do you set time aside to learn new things to help you serve? A writer must write, a singer must sing. Being true to your calling is essential to you moving forward. There is another oracle message here too. It's time to have a look at the real honest truth about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about prosperity, about your relationship to money, to compensation, to meaningful work. Ask yourself, what is true for me? And you will find the key to abundance. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Libra, that is your reading. I really hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a private reading about your, your situation more specifically, because this was pretty general, um, I couldn't get really specific, please request a private reading. I'll be more than happy to do one for you. Sorry, I get stuck in the cards. <laughs> I love you. Love and light. Bye-bye.